The greatest thing paralyzing humanity right now is this thing of identity moratorium. If you don't know who you are, you will be paralyzed. If you have no idea who you are in Christ and who Christ is in you, you will be paralyzed. The moment you discover who you really are in God and who God is in you through Christ, paralysis will come to an end. So I need to ask you, who are you? What defines you? Are you defined by your past? Are you defined by your circumstances? Are you defined by what others say about you? Here's the great news from what took place on the cross. Jesus defines you. What does this mean? It means that you're not defined by what surrounds you. You're defined by God's spirit inside of you. You're not defined by your circumstance. You're defined by his covenant. You're not defined by the hell you're going through. You're defined by the heaven you're going to. You're not defined by your failures. You're defined by his forgiveness. For all of my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, brothers and sisters, you're not defined by the likes of many. You're defined by the love of one. And for all the religious folk in the house and watching right now, you're not even defined by what you do for God. Put a smile on your face, baby. You're defined by what God already did for you. You're defined by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're defined by Galatians 2.20. My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. If Jesus defines you and your family and your home and your marriage and your calling, give him the kind of praise right now that lets him know.